using you. Wow. Mama, to tell you the truth, I am tired of this whole marriage stuff. I honestly want to serve God with all my heart, with everything in me. But my husband is not just helping matters. It's because he's afraid of the grace that you carry. He knows if you are given the opportunity to manifest, you will outshine him. Hello, lovely so, people. Back to Wake Miss Plus. So today we are on the wolves. So from the scene that we just watched, uh, Chrissy is still pursuing, Christy is still chasing to be part of this awkward group that she doesn't know that is what they are doing. She's all in for the miracles and like the anointing on them, not knowing what they are doing is not of God. Your husband even like had a vision about this thing that you are going or you have a link with these people and asked you, but still Christy went ahead to deny because at this moment, our lady is ready to give up everything to join them. She's ready to quit her marriage to join them. Ready to do everything. All in the name of like healing people, uh, doing miracles and things. Your husband is doing the same work. Why don't you put your support behind him and, uh, and extend God's work? But rather you want to separate yourself and go out there. I don't understand. There are some people when they see miracles, they forget everything. Like they give their all. You have to, you have to preach the gospel. I've not seen these people like telling someone to repent, do this. All that they do is like I, I, I am, I'm prophesying on you. I'm doing miracles, and miracles, and miracles, and miracles. Get healed, get healed, get money, get this, get this. They don't preach the word of God. You've never heard them uh, preaching the word of God before to people like repent, do this, God don't, don't, don't want this, God don't. But these people, they smoke whilst they are reading the Bible and you don't know about all this. Listen, all that glitters is not good. You have some, but you want to leave your own. It's not that your husband will the sea. Your husband is powerful. He's a man of God who is powerful. So I want to take you through a scene where her husband saw a vision about her joining these people and she denied. Let's go and watch that part. When we back, we'll continue with that. Okay. Are you okay? Of course I'm fine. Why do you ask? Do you have any business? with Bishop Etelbert in Barzi. Bishop Etelbert? Oh, yes. No, not at all. Why do you ask? Hmm. Honey, I want you to be careful and prayerful because that queen of darkness desires your soul. Desires my soul? Rather, I would say that you hate her so much because she's a female preacher. Far from it. So at this point, they Far made from. her to believe that whatever her husband is doing is to prevent her from uh, entering into uh, the ministry by herself. And everything that her husband is doing is to like overshadow her and stuff. So right D whatever that you tell Chrissy, she no go here she no go here i don't know what she want to see yeah so in another scene that we watched from season three and four we noticed that they sent in their assassinators to uh, eliminate her husband so right the Chrissy's husband them them kill him flat them kill him all that they are doing is to like get hold of they are doing this to get hold of his wife because this man is powerful this man sees and they, they notice that if we don't act fast and eliminate this guy eliminate this pastor he is going to give us trouble on Chrissy so we're seeing that will be taking you through shortly we saw that 
uh, Chris's husband was coming from a mall when he entered his, his car and the guy was in the car already pointing gun at, at him I thought he is going to spare him his life but bro these guys are wicked to the extent that they don't forgive they don't have they don't show no mercy so from here let me take you through the scene I want you to start the car and move now. Yeah, so from that scene, they didn't spare a man, they killed him and finally got hold of Chrissy. As Chrissy met their leader, this mama that they, they call her. Yeah, so they gave her date that they are going to initiate her. It was then that Chrissy find out that no, this is exactly what they are doing and I don't want to be part. But it's too late. You see what you got yourself into. It's too late for you. All this time they were lying to Chrissy. They were lying to Chrissy until they sent her into the initiation room. They blindfolded her and they were doing all the incantation they were doing all the rituals that they, they needed to do when they finished doing everything they removed the blindfold and finally your lady was like oh i don't want to do this again i don't want i told you i want to be in god's ministry i told you i want to do god's work but it's too late for you my sister what do you want to gain support your husband support your husband's work you want to separate yourself and do your meanwhile your husband is doing the same way it's all because your husband got this agenda that uh women got ha, women does not have the right to stand before god's people and preach to them that be why you walk to anoint you with a fresh oil into priesthood you must take the ordination vow Repeat after me. I swear with my life to abide by the rules and regulation guiding this order. I swear with my life to abide by the rules and regulations guiding this order. I will be loyal to this order 100% till my dying day. I will be loyal to this other hundred percent till my dying day. Look at this. What kind of girls work? Where them they initiate you? They will make you say all these things. Our lady should have been smart over there. But it seems she was eager and didn't know what she was she was going into. Everything that they were asking her to do, she was following until they remove the blindfold until they remove the blindfold that i will do this with my life i will do this like what kind of what kind of work is this god is not that mean god is not this mean oh you want of god you don't fall now your husband is gone and you are about to enter into, into this thing then bro the word is the word is doomed the word is going to suffer wow because right there they are they are killing all the pastors i sure by the time they initiate a woman crazy then all the pastors in the city they are done. what is going on here who am i i mean where are we olivia what is going on here, Olivia? Congratulations. I welcome you into the order of the big seven. No, I am not interested in whatever it is you people are doing here. I am not going to be part of this your courtly kingdom. I told you that I wanted to be a minister of God and not this. I will only serve one true God and that is Jesus Christ. I am not interested in this. Yeah, so for now i see that everything is like over your way out from this people is going to be hard it takes divine 
intervention for you to get out from this because Charlie who is going to stand in for you they are killing all the pastors they are killing all the strong pastors in the city so to get yourself out of this is not easy it has spiritual attacks and beside their spiritual attacks they have gang men they have assassinators who is roaming about who is performing duties killing pastors doing a whole lot of stuff so your way out you done my sister and i'm at the start they imagine what she would do when she start to fit into this group she will be wicked wow <laughs> so charlie uh, as we did here now i'll be ending very soon make you subscribe to the channel so say the next season that will come i will update you on it very soon it will drop so don't you forget to like subscribe and turn on notification bell to support us here and leave your comment below concerning this season that we discussed about my name is andy bless you for coming bless you for supporting always i'm out bye bye